Sin Chao. Greetings, bonjour from Saigon. Today, we are going to acknowledge the fact that Vietnam is a very literary culture. In fact, most Vietnamese people are known as being poets. And how are we going to do that? We're going to visit this little second-hand bookstore in my neighborhood, which is very good. Small independent business. Saigon Namzua Books and Coffee. And it's at 50 Nagoyan Kek New Phong Ko Huan Wan. Hello. Good morning. And do you own this bookshop? You define who you are. I define who I am in English, not in Vietnamese. I, uh, but uh, I, I can speak English uh, good, uh, very yeah. well, uh, I, very bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, well. Um, but um, to... <laughs> well, you survived the p pandemic. That's fantastic. And you have a good English section. I've bought many English books here, yeah. in, uh, Vietnamese English language books, translated into English. Yeah. On yeah. Yeah. I'm not buying today. I'll buy later in the week. Later in the week I'll have some extra money. And then heaps of Vietnamese books. There's lots of publishing done in Vietnam. Very much. And lots of good research work. Uh, you know, and areas of culture, ethnography, anthropology, politics, and then you come across, you know, the, some of the English language stuff. Don't, haven't seen very many, uh, I think I've only ever seen one penguin book in here. Uh, and then you get classics, European classics. And Russian also. Dictionary, grammar. If you are coming to live in Vietnam or in Southeast Asia, I'd suggest you buy a good English language dictionary to bring with you because the dictionaries I found here are mainly directed at English as a second language. Is this the book? Just after war, this is what I'm going to buy. Short stories, okay. Oh, The Sorrow of War, the award-winning novel from North Vietnam, okay. Vietnamese legends, okay. I want all of these. So if you can put them aside for me, I will pick them up on Wednesday. Look, see. Prostitution and venereal disease in colonial Hanoi. Mm, well, that's sort of research, isn't it? But probably not going to go there. But these ones, I'll just have a quick look at them. Well, here we go, The Sorrow of War. I haven't heard of this before. It's by Bao Nin, born in Hanoi. During the American War, he served with the glorious 27th Youth Brigade. And of the 500 who went to war with the brigade in 1969, he is one of 10 who survived. I've read some uh, terrific stuff by Vietnamese writers on... What do you mean? Ho Chi Minh thought oh, on the military, that could be really interesting, from the Ministry of National Defence. This one, I have that. Uh, yeah. yeah, I bought that from you almost three years ago. It's an excellent book. Le Lu. This guy was employed um, by the North Vietnamese Army as a writer and did radio broadcasts of stories and stuff during the war. So as a way of, um, you know, sort of the equivalent of sort of like Bob Hope shows to the American troops. Um, there were entertainment troops that, uh, that entertained the North Vietnamese military during that time. I have a book by one of them, um, which is profound. Spirit of the People and the Nation, Ho Chi Minh Thought on Revolution for Colonial Liberation. Good to be read in New Zealand, I think. Thought on People's War. Thought on pe forming people's armed forces, military art. There we go. Thought on constructing revolutionary bases, the rear and national defense. Originally published in Vietnam. 
Not sure when. Okay. And this is the great uh, work of Vietnamese literature, the story of Q. I already have three versions of this, three different translations. Yes. So I'll probably get this one too. I'll probably end up being set back about a million Vietnamese drum. This is in English and uh, Vietnamese. And this is really your founding work of, not the first of course, but you could say of modern Vietnamese. Concept of woman's beautifulness in old style as well as their virtue. You're very much uh, a woman's book. Okay, I'm going to have these put aside for me. And this is published by UNESCO Publishing Paris. That's interesting. But uh, in thought. just sorry, I say this my Yeah, this is the tomb of the writer of Q, the story of Q, and we have another one here. Ah, yeah. They're French. 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 Q story. Yeah, that's Q again, but in French. French. Francais. What is that Q? Yeah. This Q is a poetic, it's a long poem, really. Now this Vietnamese legends looks interesting in that adapted from the Vietnamese by George F. Schultz. And here we have the contents, how the tiger got its stripes, the supernatural crossbow, the state, little statesman Lee, the buffalo boy in the banyan tree, the gambler's wife. But when we look over here, we see that it's published by Charles E. Tuttle Company Limited of Rutland, Vermont, in Tokyo, Japan in 1965. It has an American Library of Congress catalog number. And this is probably produced for American Armed Forces to help enculturate, enculturate, enculturate them to Vietnam to give them some sensitivity to the culture. I have seen other such publications from time to time. So that's going to be interesting. It's nicely typeset. has little notes here, handwritten notes in um, Vietnamese. Yeah and English. Okay, could I get out of here without causing myself enormous financial harm? No, Love After War. The legend, Love After War. So it's a selection, it's an anthology of a selection of, of writers and probably writing about the American War. Let's see what it says. Published 2003. It's American. Short stories, Vietnamese translation into English. Yeah, the United States did do some interesting uh, cultural research here when they were military active, militarily active here. I have got a couple of pieces. Oh, you know, oh, let me uh, have a look. Mechanics and craft of the Animites. Mechanics and craft of the Animites. Yes. Oh, okay, which is a type yes. of picture. Yeah. Yes. I probably won't. I have a beautiful, uh, yes. I have a beautiful uh, illustrated manuscript, which I bought three years ago, which is actually this. Southern Vietnamese equivalent of the story of Q. Yes, other, it's the Henri Arthur. Yeah. Other. Yeah. Henri Auger, Premier Edition 1909. Okay, so that's a study, anthropological, probably, to a degree. Ethnographic. Uh, that's a lot of picture. Yeah, the diagrams. People, uh, traditional hmm. animal of yeah. uh, this time. Yeah. Yeah. Central Vietnam. Yes. Lost of Vietnam in the Nguyen Dynasty. Oh yes. Uh, yes. Oh yeah. 
children. Children. There's more to this. Mm. this Had a street book. Picnic. Mm. Yes. Here you go for visual people. Yes. Oh no, oh, no I thought the there would be this. Information. Yeah, information. Yeah, information and a book. Contextual. So this is a small independent bookseller. Yes. Okay, I won't get that one. But thank you. Yes. These ones, I put all of these aside. I'll get them on Wednesday. Sir, I'll get these on Wednesday. Can you put them aside for me? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Wednesday. What's your name? My name is Barton. 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 <laughs> And I'm Martin. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. I'll see you on Wednesday. Okay. I'll put this on YouTube. Okay. Put your shop on YouTube. Um, Where do you buy your shoes? Hmm? Dan 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 nghe rồi anh cái. Chỗ này không nghe được. And of course, you can have coffee and tea here. Now, I have been here. They used to have a big long table along here where you could sit down and drink your coffee or tea. But not only that. I've come in here, they've been artists working, painting, uh, musicians performing. I don't know if they still do that. Maybe it'll all come back again after the end of the pandemic. So thank you, gentlemen. I'll put this on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to say something? You can slow. Just slow speak. Speak slow. Say, yeah. come and buy our books. Ah, come and buy your book. Yeah, no, no, my, my book. Yeah, buy your, uh, your book. book. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the place. Saigon, Namzua. See how nice the people are? Thank you, sir. Thank you, Barton. Yeah. <laughs> see you on Wednesday. Okay, and look, right there. No need to be worried, there's a police station just down there. Circle K across the road. And there's a family store here. This place over the road there was really good, it was Korean. You could sit on the balcony up there and have coffee and stuff, but the ownership has changed during the pandemic. It was beautiful inside. A lovely little zen like. Sculptures. And the local high school, part of the high school. Here, yeah, the family mark. We'll leave it there.